Um, so it's true that Sarah is currently in San Francisco and before that uh, Philadelphia and there was or there were Tennessee and uh, then Philadelphia and then there was some Ohio and New York. But we were in Paquitos having some of that habanero and guacamole and chips earlier and we we came across this this little uh, bio note from forever ago when we first met. Uh, I just wanted to read it. So Sarah Hetty was born stony. She was physically born in a split-level ranch when the world was at its most fantabulous. This was near upstate New York, or downstate, depending on if you're from there, but was it a downstate or a gown late? Hetty's, Sarah's poetics can be described in one word as informal, or two words as enraptured life coach. Life coach being a composite. Or three words as aubergine, toenailed, kicking of the solar plexus. I met Sarah after being on a gingerly, slowly graying catamaran near a governor's island off the coast of Asbury Park, New Jersey. We were sneakily knocking back translucent mimosas and the latest gas stations performed the rucksack dance at the local stage. Sarah said, charming, when she got to Seattle. Sarah's work can be found at sarahetty.com. Everybody, welcome up Sarah Hetty. Hi, thank you so much to everybody who made this possible, and I especially want to thank Greg, who um, is really one of the most generous people I've ever met in my life, and you all are so lucky to have him in your community, so I hope you appreciate him. Um, uh, <laughs> um, so, what the images that you're looking at right now are from a collection of vintage postcards that I was given a few years ago. Um, a few hundred of them that are all either addressed to or from the same woman who I have an, a goal ultimately of finding or finding her relatives because she's probably dead. Um, they're between the mid 40s and the late 70s and they inspired me to write um, some poems. And so what you're gonna hear is a mix of my words, some language from the, from the postcards themselves and then some other found language that didn't come from, from postcards, but which I brought into this, this group. Um, so it's, I'm just gonna read it all like it's one big thing. But the titles of the poems are the titles of the postcards, which you will see up here. And there are some of Seattle as well, although no poems about Seattle. But keep your eyes peeled for some vintage Seattle images. Oaks Gardens, Niagara Falls, I can't hear you, what? It's this water. <laughs> Next to the bird bath is a small blue informative plaque saying, get out your tissues, as in this is important, as in be moved now. Everything falls just like they told us it would. Pirate's Cove, Lumberjack Pass, Hillbilly Fun, Around the World, Magic Carpet, Magic Castle, Enchanted Castle, Perils of the Lost Jungle, Lost Mountain, Lost Treasure, Lost Kingdom, Mystic Mountain, Hidden Lagoon, Jungle Lagoon, Smuggler's Cove, Fountain Valley, Paradise Valley, Sweet Shot, Sugar Grove, Fantasy, Fire Lake, Ultimate Rush, Tropical Gardens, Hawaiian Rumble, Tiki Island, Mutiny Bay, Celebration, Shipwreck, Jurassic Park, Shadow Brook, Crystal Lake, Crystal Falls, Dynamite Falls, Congo River, Bumblebee Hollow, Freedom Station, Frontier Town, Adventure Landing, Old Sawmill, Pioneer Waterland, Lake Gloria, Victorian Park, Idlewild, Wonderland. All mini golf courses, by the way. <laughs> Dear Violet, 
Ray and I have been doing nothing but walking on the boardwalk, just back and forth, back and forth. Nah, if you believe that, I'll tell you another. Love, Margaret. <laughs> that, was, that was original postcard message from uh, a postcard entitled Bird's Eye View of Boardwalk and Beach Showing Steel Pier, Atlantic City, New Jersey. Dear Violet, if you believe the beach fades gently into purple from coral sand as the sand becomes water and layers of people remain the same black pricks of ink in technicolor salt, I'll tell you another. Believe that one, and you must believe the fact of the Texaco billboard protruding flush with the horizon, mostly invisible. Ray and I have been walking, walking, walking toward it, never attaining, like it's Christ or the funnel cake stand you can smell in your clothes, but whose tiny sideways sliding window is nowhere in real life. The cake's nowhere near your mouth. Love, Margaret. Dear Violet, seriously though, Ray and I have been screwing like rabbits at the Tremor, <laughs> drinking beer under awnings, burning our skin with ocean tinctures. The loungers sweep in a C-shape along the continent's edge. I'll tell you another. Everyone is pleased as punch to be here. There are eight magnificent miles of hotels, theaters, and shops. Nah, if you believe that, you'll believe this place is forever. The next year it will be here instead of Bermuda. You sucker. Love, Margaret. <laughs> Dear Violet, the gambling sands prefigure themselves in the crotch of a one piece, all lumped up in there from gravity, tides, or both. You squat under water and quickly turn the pouch inside out. Now you are lighter. The veil of cola residue on the paperback cover says, I love you to the Texaco sign. There are card games, hot dogs gone too soon. It is almost the future. Peach-colored sand moves imperceptibly into plum. I pick it with my dyed eyes and bite a silent coated fuck. Love, Margaret. Belt, Bethpage State, Brooklyn, Queens, Bruckner, Comset State, Cross Bay, Cross Bronx, Cross County, Cross Island, Gowanus, Grand Central, Heckscher State, Henry Hudson, Hutchinson River, I-87, I-295, I-495, I-678, I-895, Loop, Lower Manhattan, Major Deegan, Meadowbrook State, Mid-Manhattan, Mashaloo, New York State 135, New York State 878, Northern State, Ocean, Palisades Interstate, Prospect, Robert Moses State, Sagdico State, Sawmill River, Shorefront, Sound Shore, Southern State, Springbrook, Staten Island, Sunken Meadow State, Trans Manhattan, Wanta State. <coughs> Moonlight ride on Lake George, New York, plus the bottle dump. I keep telling my husband Yonkers is just three hours south if we sped all night. Back to the almost sea if we sped all night, heaving metal over tar to the longed for other place. At dinner, foreigners wait on us, umbilical to some frightening homeland, holes in some fence we weren't supposed to see through bloated raccoons in the basement of the body of water, channel kill hung on algal clotheslines, pause in sepsis and those points of light on the closest bank, other people's vacations. Our first ring neighbors always say, crush the can underfoot and dispose of it bluntly, pour the dishwasher down the ravine, make a glass dump, a graveyard of X elixir holders ruffled with mold, coming up against tin. Leaf litter cradles the forgot cola, cure-all, milk, and seltzer bottles. Unlike most on holiday, I want to see where my own shit goes when it dies. Each Adirondack peak bears a name for tourists, a number for scientists. Each day cruise empties out around seven, tempests of dinner rolls pitched at the guests. Mini golf mars every corner, and the command to the kids, a father's insistence on all 18 holes, you're going to play, and that's final. 
Burning sugarcane, Honolulu. Sugarcane is burned the day before it is harvested. Here's how it works. On the cane plantation, finite pools of gas-soaked water sit by the stables. Our horses are actually primates wearing equine masks and empty tin cans on their feet and hands. Many have fractured spines from the riding. I bring my friends, we ride and douse cane. Do a second loop through, this time throwing flame. The man from the tourism office told us to look hard and wear tight denim under our grass skirts which tend to catch fire. At the end, when it's done and the sucrose is ready to pop, we break out the donuts with pineapple filling, hibiscus garnished. We take a smoldering stalk of cane, with ceremony walk it out to the breakfasting whites, our hands caramelizing from transferred heat, and shake some sweet, sweet dandruff onto each waiting pastry. There is clapping, and once a man nudged a dollar bill into my belt loop, a second later, the single burst into flame. Amish family, Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. If I am a boy with a bucket, an upturned bucket, a father and a mother with early red eyes on a sunny morning walk through town, then you are laughing inside as you pass. I am the lilt of my mother's black dress. The local tongue is a mixture of dark, dense bread and simultaneous weddings. We are older than our images. As I address you, I age. All the barns we've raised together. I am unshadowing my face for you in a 20th century moment. They only come on Saturdays. <clears throat> Silver Sands Motel, Greenport, New York. $10 a night, room number 22. Ray restrains me with the striped duvet cover folded over and over. Good thing the orange carpet disguises vomit, but I don't see an ashtray or a place to hang a wet brassiere besides a splinter in the blonde wood paneling. Then we boat it to Lobster Roll City. He says my spinal fluid tastes sweet compared to bay water. I can imagine our love carried away like a cereal box in a pelican's gullet. On the beach, I watch a boy child stomach down in the sand digging out pull tabs, the uncle in front with a metal detector. It seems neon shorts are a prereq for the position. The small boy's torso receives magnetic blips to the kidney and all for a varsity pin abandoned by a teen right when that word came into fashion. Later, back in the lobby, I'm boasting, my leisure shows your leisure who's boss. I'm in the bay screaming, save me, Ray. I'm bursting with sloth from the inside out. I told you the windmill museum would suck, but do you ever listen? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some of them are quite beautiful. Some are so distressing, <laughs> offensive, disturbing, <laughs> trippy. It's really endless. <clears throat> This is on the more disturbing side. I don't know if you guys saw this one. This is Green Mantle on the legend of Kakabeka Falls, northwestern Ontario, Canada. <clears throat> oh, phytochemical hag spinning legends with her breasts. Wet light plays across your better, more warrior half. But Kakabeka is a load of shit. I'm not smiling when I say that. <laughs> The cataract mantle now is snot or baby vomit green. Pardon my weakening faith in this industry of water, in the light generated by its falling. Warriors chase tail over the ridge and into the space of their own depths. I am reminded of an old native adage, woman not worth risk of horrible death unless man sure of put out first. <laughs> but the leapers bent forward in sex prayers, sparks flying as they would from the future hydro plant. Now repeat after me. This legend helps me understand my own addiction. This legend helps me feel immortal. This legend owns traffic like a Hummer. This legend pleasures me whenever I want it. 
Our beast sleeps heavy, holding the hand of the ghost girl. The cave stays warmer longer because she faked it. Needle's eye, swing along bridge, lover's leap, see seven states, 1,000 ton balanced rock, moonshine still. Outside the barrel-shaped chapel, along the Lord's, alongside the Lord's Prayer and the Hail Mary translated into Iroquoian, are Indian plaques and carvings. Inside the church, along with a painting of the crucifixion, are traditional North American Indian motifs stenciled along the walls. Pews are rough-hewn wood. The overhead lamps are shaped like Iroquois food storage pots. The altarpiece is made of logs, shaped like stockade with the pickets arranged like organ pipes. The altar light rests in a two-foot-long replica of an Iroquois canoe. Stations of the cross are painted on an Iroquois drumhead. Shrine of North American Martyrs, Oscawana Lake Road, Peekskill, New York. Gong, footbridge, thatch pile, random deep red blotch where hand coloring did not sink. A long house emblazoned with a baby blue cross, same color as the sky in this limited spectrum. Pieces of wetland in the foreground. Is it some holy ghost in the bower who sways sickly green toward the tracks? Who sways sickly green? The transcendentalist landscape architect back to the land jack off, forgot his lantern in a pile of hunted offal. And now this blood-coated flame house is a not shining show in the northern burbs. You must fetch some ice from the stream. We will melt it by the fire, but fast. We need another martyr. So throw your white body down. On the wall in false Iroquoian, our main industry, Jesus, was ice. Pillage of the coldest resource Vast buildings fronted the Hudson for the purpose of housing water in solid form, needed for downstate cocktails. Highland mists settled solid on the flows most winters, then clapped with a warlike sound. Largish cakes of captured blue pounced upon like mammoths, guided easterly into one of many Leviathan storehouses bordering shore. Women bade their men goodbye on mornings when it seemed they had made the wrong choice coming here to the breakneck, flailing against each October's hardening river. You must fetch some ice but from the stream. We will melt it by the fire, but fast. We need another martyr, so throw your white body down. They brandished faith against drums, later dressed up Sundays, Italian ices if they were immigrants spawn on the narrow sliver of land in the world's most perfect harbor. Nestled below the sheer tonnage of Adirondack, though they didn't know it. Mothers waited for sons to return from ice slicing, hoping they didn't bleed to death that day from a slip of the two-man saw. The utter absence of comfort, except in Christ and in what fires managed to be built. In the running sweat that warms the skin, hurtled down a hill, leafless but for pine needles. Told you must fetch some ice from the stream, we will melt it by the fire. But fast. You must fetch some ice from the stream, we will melt it by the fire, but fast, boy. We need boiled potatoes and the meat, though newly caught, is freezing in this mid Atlanticism. So throw your white body down the mountain swath to the Wappinger. And bring this bucket, or bring this basket, boy. Bring a musket, child. You don't know who brown you'll run into, and we don't need another martyr in this family. Throw your white body down, boy. Throw your white body down. <clears throat> Split Rock, Lake Harmony, Poconos. Three women spit down the crack of a hewn rock and promise to group fuck at the edge. Women are open and empty in the middle, cocky, made for crowds. They've got weather vane minds. 
Because of them, before I travel, I empty the glove box of signs that I was ever anywhere, that something I saw entered me for good. The Fountain of Light was dedicated May 31st, 1929, commemorating the 75th anniversary of the founding of Atlantic City, also the 50th anniversary of Thomas Edison's discovery of the incandescent lamp. It is of unusual beauty, and by unique lighting of waterfalls at various levels, the effect is a blaze of many colored, swiftly blending cascades. Fountain of Light, Atlantic City, New Jersey. I like to come upon water randomly, gushing straight up out of nothing. Light playing over eyeball whites. Light parasitizing mind. White thrown onto black, like reverse vaudeville. All you can eat is a waste. I imagine my shit dissipating, marbling paisley into sea. King crab flesh rejoining its brothers, coffee confused of the northeastern climate. And this glorious, wet, commemorative beast, wrecked, angry, electric. The middle lamp, yellow as piss, flanked to the north by duckweed, south by just oxygenated blood. I've gazed upon bushes surrounding the fountain, sparrows eating garbage, and now I write you to answer your question. Yes, I can see, and others see me. I am visible, I am illumined by moist bulbs, the sound of water slapping concrete. My apron is fish smelly. I have consumed my own filament. I have worn my mule heels making my way. I am sure every second is a centennial of something. This is the last one. Sunset on Lake Winnipesaukee, New Hampshire. Those two names don't sound right together. The mind needs something to keep it going. She says, the honeymoon's over. Just push past the brambles and enter me. I've been waiting for you for some time. Thank you, guys.